The gates are open. Here we go. Finally doing some Unreal Engine. I want to say right off the bat, I'm by no means an expert at Unreal Engine. Hopefully I'll get there eventually, but as of right now, I'd say I'm still a beginner at it. However, I have spent a lot of time just learning how to get over those initial problems that you're going to run into. So as I've mentioned in my other videos, the first thing that I wanted to teach originally was ArchViz, but then I realized that it wouldn't really make any sense for me to make one of those tutorials because people would be struggling with things like basic blueprints, widgets, and just overall how Unreal Engine functions. So I'm gonna be releasing quite a few videos before that, hopefully one video every one or two days for the next month. And they're just gonna be five to 10 minute videos of small skill builders so that people can have enough time to keep up with me, but then at the end of all of them, you should be ready to just start doing ArchViz and you should have a much better understanding of how Unreal Engine works. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to make an Epic Games account. It's pretty standard, pretty straightforward, but it is good to have this because it lets you sign into things like Quixel Bridge. So what you're gonna do is if you already have one, you just go into the sign in. And if you do not have one, you're gonna come down here, say you don't have an Epic Games account, sign in. Now you can sign up with email. So I'm gonna go fill in my information here. Call this Luminous Labs. Fill in a password here. Create the terms of service, hit OK. Then I'm going to go and get the number from my email. So now that I have that, I can type that in, verify. And just like that, now I have an Epic Games account. Like I said, I don't know if it's actually necessary to do this to install it, but I like to get this set up. And then if you need it down the road, you have it and it's ready to go. Once you've done that, you can come up here to download. And you're going to pick the creator's license. I'm assuming that most people watching this video are going to be using it for ArchViz or, you know, just kind of hobby stuff. If you are looking at doing this to make video games, then you will want the publishing license. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it really matters until you actually start making considerable money from this, like if you are just looking at, if you're just doing this as a hobby or anything that's kind of along the lines of ArchViz, just go with the creator's license. I don't think it's a big deal. I'm sure you can change it down the road, but I go with the creator's license. So I'm gonna hit download and scroll down to the bottom here. So you read this, hit accept, and then you have the Epic Games installer. Right, so once we click that, pretty straightforward stuff. I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna go through this part here, but it is pretty straightforward. Just go to install, hit that, and then once that is all finished, what you should have is the Epic Games Launcher. And this is gonna let you manage what version of Unreal Engine you're using, so you can have more than one downloaded. Uh, I think I have 4.25 and then 4.26 downloaded right now but that will change obviously when new ones are coming out this all it's um this is also the location that you can get the unreal engine 5 access so if you are interested in doing that you can check it out i probably will be doing unreal engine 5 tutorials hopefully in the near future i want to do unreal engine 4 just because it is it's not in beta it, it is the real version and honestly all of the skills that we're going to be learning are transferable so i figured that'd be best to just teach people unreal engine 4 and then it'll be easier to move over to unreal engine 5 but you kind of get both of them right so what you can do from here is we can go to library now i'm assuming since you just downloaded it you're not going to have any versions of the engine here what you should be able to do is just click on engine versions install a new version and then from here, you can pick what one you want to install. I would recommend doing 4.25 or 4.26. It doesn't really matter. 
I haven't really been using 4.26 just because I didn't really have any need to. And I also use Lo Shang's GPU light mass. I don't really like the one that ships with Unreal Engine. I really like the one that you use as an add-on. It's a free add-on, but at the time that I was using it, you had to use 4.25, that's why I have it. But as of recording this, you can now use it with 4.26. So that's something we are gonna get into as well, but we don't need to worry about baking lighting or anything like that yet. And then once you have that, you should be able to just install this, hit the button, and then this may take a little bit of time, but once it's installed, we can start looking at our first little scene.